In this video, we listed the three best business laptops that are available on the market for their true quality. Actually, I tried to make the list based on their popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you need more information about these products, please check the description section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get future reviews. It's done let's dive into the video. Number 1. Lenovo Yoga 7 i16 The Lenovo Yoga 7 i16, 2023 a well-built 2-inch minus 1 convertible. This laptop sports a large 16-inch display, so you get plenty of room for split-screen multitasking, and since it's a 2-inch minus 1, you can flip the screen around and use it as a tablet. You can choose between an FHD Plus or QHD Plus panel, we recommend the latter, as it looks sharper and gets brighter to combat glare. There's pen input support, but depending on the model, you may need to buy the stylus separately. The keyboard feels comfortable to type on for extended periods. It also includes a numpad, which is handy for those working with lots of numbers. Battery life is excellent at around 12 hours of light use, so you can easily get through a typical workday with plenty of charge to spare. Biometrics include a fingerprint sensor and a facial recognition camera. Our main complaint is that the webcam image has an unnatural tint, and the microphone picks up some background noise. You can get this laptop directly from Lenovo if you have trouble finding it elsewhere. Number 2. Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i Our budget pick is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i15. 2023. This 15 inch ultra portable is available with various Intel 13th gen CPUs, from a Core i3 to i7, and up to 16 GB of RAM and 1 TB of storage. The Intel CPUs are low power processors, so while they can handle light productivity tasks like text processing and spreadsheets, don't expect to do anything super intensive. It is a comfortable full-size keyboard with a numpad, a small but responsive touchpad, and a surprisingly good 720p webcam. There's a fingerprint sensor built into the power button for quick logins. The biggest drawbacks compared to the models above are the quality of the available displays and battery life. The displays are noticeably dimmer and look washed out, and the battery lasts less than 7 hours of light use so you'll need to plug the laptop in to get through a typical workday. Ports include two USBs, a USB-C, an HDMI, and an SD card reader. The USB-C supports video output and charging but not Thunderbolt 4, which is unfortunate but expected for a budget-friendly model. Number 3. Microsoft Surface Pro 8. If you like the 2-inch minus 1 tablet form factor, get the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. 2021, one of the best laptops for business and personal use we've tested. You can detach the keyboard to save space when consuming media or make the device easier to hold, and the built-in kickstand lets you tilt the screen to an almost flat position to take notes or draw with a stylus. It works with Microsoft's Slim Pen 2, though any Microsoft Pen Protocol stylus will work. The Slim Pen 2 supports 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity and tilt, making it suitable for digital artists and creators, and it even has a haptic engine that simulates the feel of writing or drawing on paper. You have to buy the keyboard and stylus separately, though, increasing the overall cost of the device. The keyboard feels very comfortable especially for a type cover keyboard, and there's a slot at the top to store and charge the Microsoft Slim Pen 2. Its 1080p webcam is excellent and among the best on the market, and there's even a back-facing camera to take photos for your project or to share. For ports, you get two USB-Cs, a proprietary Surface Connect charging port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The USB-Cs support Thunderbolt 4 allowing you to transfer files quickly and connect two 4K at 60Hz displays with a single cable. Battery life sits around 7 hours of light use, which is on the shorter side but not bad for a tablet PC. By the way, there's a newer Microsoft Surface Pro 9 with faster Intel 12th Gen CPUs, however, they're usually more expensive, 
So it's up to you whether you need the extra 